In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to use the Apple Pencil on a MacBook Air and whether or not it is possible to do this. To answer this question and see if it is possible to use the Apple Pencil directly on your MacBook Air, first you, what you may try to do is connect them wirelessly. So if you go over to the settings on your MacBook Air and you browse through all of the settings, you browse through the Bluetooth settings, the devices, or if you try to make any sort of combination of button presses or commands on your Apple Pencil, you will notice that nothing pops up on either device. There will be no interaction between both. So to answer the question in the title of this video, as of today, it is impossible to directly connect the Apple Pencil to the MacBook Air. The MacBooks lack the touchscreen technology that iPads use to recognize the pencil's input. However, there is a way of using your iPad's Apple Pencil for interaction with your MacBook Air. So, Assuming that you have an iPad laying around or even an iPhone, you will be able to use a feature called Sidecar, which essentially turns your iPad into a wireless second monitor for your MacBook Air. You can then use the Apple Pencil on the iPad screen as if it were an extension of your MacBook, MacBook's Air trackpad. So all that you would have to do is go over to this option here on any window on your MacBook and choose the option to move it to your iPad. As long as both devices are in close proximity and Sidecar is set up properly with the system requirements met, you will then be able to use the iPad screen pretending it is the screen on your MacBook Air. So any modifications that you make will be reflected there. So now you can use your Apple Pencil on the iPad, which is basically streaming the screen on your MacBook Air. But directly using the Apple Pencil on the MacBook Air remains impossible. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware of an alternative method since connecting the Apple Pencil to the MacBook Air directly is currently impossible. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.